to each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me for this Saturday Power Hour. And I may be back later today with a, another discussion. Later tonight, I should say. But let me do a mic check, a one, two, one, two, to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, for those of you that are members of the Cutie Crew, you guys know that for our members only live Saturday, Z and G and I, just just the two of us, we were live. Well, we were, but everybody else wasn't for 30 minutes. Okay. So I know what I did. I started my little music and I did not click go live. So if you can hear me, please put a one in the chat. Simply beautiful. Hey. If you can hear me, put a one in the chat. Welcome, welcome, Elizabeth Holmes to the Cutie Crew. First of all, shout out to anybody that's celebrating a birthday this month. Happy birthday to you. Shout out to you if you've sent me a super chat, a cash app, or words of encouragement. Um, Bev sends me Beverly. I'm not going to say your last name, but probably for, I don't know, the last year or so. Uh, let me see, Bev. Oh, Lord. There go that doggone Legion and Risa Tisa, child. Hold on. Um, Bev G sends me words of encouragement or a Bible verse or a prayer every morning on Instagram. And I look forward to it. So even if you do an act of kindness like that, thank you guys so very much. Okay, I do see the ones in the chat. Tomorrow, Tracy Lee, happy birthday to you. And you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to lock these pets out while I'm live because as soon as I sit down, here they go at the door. Hey, Terry T, baby, give me one second, cuties. One quick second. Let me lock them completely out. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT. Okay, thank you guys so very much. Uh, yes, 68 degrees here. They can go and get out my face. These fur babies are something else. But uh, again, happy birthday to you if you are celebrating. Regina B said your husband's birthday um, was March, is March 14th. He went home to God, October 22nd, 2023. And Regina, you know, you've shared that with us before. And my continuous prayers go out to you. Tracy Lee, happy birthday tomorrow. Uh, Terry T, baby, was yesterday. Happy belated birthday, Terry T, baby. Uh, let me scroll up and see if I see 
anybody else. Uh, I don't, I don't. I'm looking on my phone. But again, happy birthday to each and every one of you. Let me say some quick hellos. And then we got to get into some things, okay? We got to get into some things. But Regina, and I do have this on subscribers only for a reason. Because it took everything in me to not let loose on a couple subscribers yesterday. I get into that as well. Hey, Aunt Debbie. Hey, Tyra. Shout out to the cutie mods in the building. And shout out, before I even get into saying hellos, shout out to the cutie crew. We had a long but excellent members only live Thursday, three and a half hours. And it was all of them. I say this all the time, but it was one of the best members only lives we spoke on the unfortunate unaliving of mahogany jackson uh and everybody gave their thoughts and we wondered what's going on with the generation and all of that and then shout out to let's be clear um on our hot topics post she wanted to talk about dealing with adult children suffering with mental health issues and when i tell you that took us in a whole different deep direction that was well needed, well needed. Y'all know I'm a thug, okay? But your girl was choking up behind the scenes and all of that. Excellent, excellent. Love each and every one of you. What a, an amazing, amazing members only live. We got a chance to be there as support for the sisters that's dealing with that when it comes to their children or if they have dealt with their own issues it was just great but shout out to the cutie crew uh real quickly i'm gonna say some hellos regina b and green sparkle c b dim boys mama hello rabbits running hello sweet sweet life liddell Edie b the fabulous linda greer square biz Square Biz in the building. Square Biz, thank you for the comment on the post regarding Dr. Melody Cherie and Shanita Foster. Um, and if you did not read my comment, I'll go ahead and say it. Um, the stats that I put on that post came directly from an article from a website in Ghana. So that's 76% of households. Like you said, it may be rural. Uh, they didn't specify that, but that's where I got it from. But thank you for that. Hello, Valencia, Mary Willis, C. Gilbert, Lois Hardy. Hey, Lois. Thithi in the building. Hey, Geneva. Who said that? Hey, who said that? Sorry, guys. Got to take a swallow of water. Mm-mm-mm. Um, happy belated birthday, Mary. I'm looking at it on my phone as opposed to me saying hello uh, on the chat. So I got to do one or the other. So I'm looking at the chat real quickly. But 327 of you currently joining me, please make sure to hit that like button for me. Hello, yes, it's Tay. Hello, just listening. Hey, Sherry, Titi again, Aunt Debbie, the legend in the building. And then hello, Katora. G Tina, BLS in the building. Gina, love me. Again, hello to Terry T, baby. Phaedra, hello. Hey, April, good afternoon. Real talk with grace and mercy. Hello to you, cutie crew member. Thank you for being a part of the Members Only Live this past Thursday. It was great. Uh, Simply Beautiful came in at the last minute, child. It was three and a half hours. We were out of there. Um, simply Shirelle, hello, Miss Cheryl, uh, Annette, Stacy Boyd, Valencia. Okay, I think I got a lot of you. I am blessed, Pecan Pam, and Elizabeth Holmes again. Shout out to you for joining the cutie crew. Uh, Patricia Taylor, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so crafty lion, hello. Uh, to any of you that I may have over right now 
my apologies simply shirelle happy birthday to you as well um let's see let's see uh stacy boyd stacy did i get yours happy birthday hey hannah grace i see you in the chat hey pastor i see you in the chat shout out to any content creators that are in the building i appreciate you guys and we're gonna go ahead and get started we just crossed the 10 minute mark and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going but first of all let me say this i scheduled my live this morning and uh went out to run some errands and when i came back i put my, my earbuds in and i turned on queen sheba Woo -chow, is all i got to say now i just cut it off before we started um, before I started this live, I got to the point where they started to speak on Drea Michelle. And I want you guys to come back later on today because it's a missing piece to this whole puzzle. And I got some TT that I haven't seen out in these YouTube streets. It's really not T, it's something that I've been knowing that's really making me give, oh, Drea the sad eye. And I'll share that with you guys later on this evening as i mentioned we will have a late saturday night live but shout out to queen mother f and sheba do you hear me shout out to wente talks for popping it off and baby this is what people don't realize you know sometimes you can give off or maybe this is just how you are the majority of the time you are cool calm and collected but don't get it twisted don't get it twisted and baby queen sheba popped all the way off and rightfully so rightfully so you know um look we all know what's been going on um when it comes to women i stand on that and, you know, I heard the little shade thrown to me. Well, Mel had to come out for you, not knowing all the time. It's some, it's some tea back there. But anyway, um, shout out to Queen Sheba. Shout out to those that hit the panel that uh, said or what they said. Um, baby, that's all I got to say. Um, you know, I'll say this and then I'm not going to get too much into that. But people don't know how people roll. You know what I'm saying? And people don't know how the family, families of people roll. And, you know, sometimes, you, you know, it's best for you just to go ahead on about your business. Go ahead on about your business. Um, You know, it's a couple people that's fell back over here due to, I guess, everything that's going on. And that's cool. You know what I mean? Just, you know, remain that's all I got to say. But Queen Sheba stood on business. When Tay Talk stood on business, the panel stood on business. Okay. And uh, enough should be enough. It really, really should. But I just wanted to say that. Let me say this again. Oh, dang. I meant to, before I started this live, I meant to share the link. But I also watched the trailer for part two of Queen Sheba's interview with Michelle Loud. That trailer, baby, had me uh, feeling like I was at the local cinema. Well done. So professional. Uh, intriguing. It definitely makes you want to go ahead and tune in. Uh, part one was amazing, but I'm glad to hear Queen Sheba say that they tied up some loose ends as far as you know, a couple people that may have had questions or whatever. Uh, part one, I watched every minute of the two-hour interview. So, again, shout out to Queen Sheba. Uh, let me start with this Patreon. I'm coming. I am coming, Patreon. Um, and I promise I will be dropping this week. Now, it looks like I may have to sync my members only with Patreon. It's a lot to figure out. Now, normally one of my little nieces child is my expert when it comes to anything computer related. I did reach out to Trending 
and trending let me know as far as you can use StreamYard. So I got to figure that out. But that will be our Let Loose Lounge. So if I do have to sync it with members only, then that's exactly what I would do. What, Braylon, it was the allegedly factual for me. What I miss? Let me know. Let me know. Um, I also want to say real quickly, shout out to Teresa Wright. Teresa, thank you so very much for gifting me my uh, Zodiac sweatshirt from Trending. Uh, if you guys are not aware, Trending has a store. Make sure to check it out. I apologize that I don't have the link to it, but make sure to check it, uh, check it out. The sweatshirt is very, very great quality. It really is. Um, and that's what I like. You know, sometimes you can order and you get these flimsy um, material of shirts or whatever the case may be. Trending sort of reminds me of mail. I got the, I was so mad. You guys remember it was the, the girl's birthday party and they all had on the orange God said go sweatshirts. And I got that sweatshirt in orange. And I was like, dang, I wish I would have known. I would have worn it that day. But it reminds me of the quality of Mel's products. I got a couple sweatshirts, a couple hats, uh, as well as the, and I'll get to that soon, um, her line, 7th Avenue Beauty. And, you know, when you spend your money, you want good quality. Now, I did pay it forward, and I gifted somebody. Um, I cashed out, trending some money, um, I think that was before I left Vegas, uh, Arizona. I don't know. But if she already had that contest, then, you know, I did make want to make sure that I paid it forward. But thank you again, Teresa Wright. All right. 525 of you watching. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, child, let me go ahead and put this disclaimer up just for the sake of real quickly. I'm not sharing anything, but I'm just gonna go and put it up because we got some we got some crooked attorneys out here allegedly, child. You gotta go ahead and try to protect yourself allegedly from scams. But I don't even know if it's alleged. Let me go ahead and play this. And that ain't alleged. <laughs> that ain't alleged, but I'ma say alleged. I'll get to that in a minute as well but yesterday i made a post congratulating mail on that official name change and look even when i was scrolling through instagram today you know if mail likes a post or something like that i'm used to seeing melody as hope melody as hope and it is a joy and I know she is just ecstatic to finally see Melody Cherie. Um, but I made a post yesterday congratulating Mel on that. And also the water project that her and Shanita uh, will have uh, when it comes to Ghana. And just thinking about that, I hope that this is filmed I really, really do. I hope that they have cameras there. I would love to see it. Um, I do know that Shanita has been doing big things when it comes to Ghana. And um, I'm just glad that now you see, even in this, it still said Melody as whole. But I'm just glad that Mel is a part of it as well. And yeah, baby, when I tell you I can't wait for my name to go back to my maiden name, I don't put my maiden name on Facebook or anything like that anyway, but I am ready for the challenge. I was thinking about it yesterday. You know, when you have to get your credit cards changed over and the licenses and all of that, but hey, I am ready. I'm ready. Um, what else? What else? Oh, when it comes to the name change though, I wonder how to pick Misha's feel because a lot of them just felt like Mel was holding on to that name just because. And uh, if she wanted the name, she would have kept the Negro. So I never got that. But yeah, you know, it's a process. 
And again, congratulations to her for finally, finally getting it removed on Instagram. Um, I did like this as well. We do know yesterday was International Women's Day. I snagged this from, I don't know, maybe it's, it's good. I put that uh, disclaimer up. I think it was Instagram or it may have been a Facebook group. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I love the way they did this. We love this short hair, okay? Last but not least, when it comes to Mel, if you guys watched her when she was live in LA, if you watched her when she gave away the LV earrings um, a couple days ago, you guys know that she is running her 30% off sale on 7th, Ave 7th Avenue Beauty.net. And you still have a chance to win because she said that she will be doing the giveaway for the sunglasses tomorrow. I believe. Yes, that's what she said. Mel went live when I think we were in members only, but I called it after. So the earrings were really, really cute. But those glasses are my type of glasses. I like oversized shades. So once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and re-up uh, my favorite facial cleanser just so I can be in the running. Thank you, Braylon Lee. And yes, I think I had that on another post. No, that's her and Shanita. But the code, the promo code is Los Angeles, 30% off. Now, let me say this about that. Number one, great job to Mel for giving back. We do know that there are a lot of people that just take, 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 and never give back. Um, at one point, Old Storm is still said she was giving away 50K, and we never saw proof of that. I think the last I looked at it, it was um, she showed 5K, allegedly. Let me go and throw that in there. And then Tisha, Tisha got a little uh, hook for her kids where she's been selling and no giveaways and giveaways are not something that you have to do but i think it's great that mel does that and she's been doing it she's been doing it now look mr martel holtz he had his own little giveaway but it was the actual product okay when nobody buying that little pamphlet when nobody buying that 15 percent akala hoko or whatever he used to say Ines. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Martel just had to go ahead and give that away. Uh, but yeah, Mel, keep doing the damn thing. Keep showing us even though you don't have to. Um, I saw her live last night with the masterclass students. Um, she was a speaker at Noah's Ark NICU Foundation. Uh, we do know that she was on the radio station for St. Jude. And this is what we're talking about. This is what we love to see when it comes to the celebrities that we support and root for. Um, and it would be nice if more of this, Mr. Carlos Kang, was showcased on the show. Uh, I was outside last night, outside. So I did not catch uh, part uh, not part two, episode two of Charnita's World, but that's on my list for today as well. And then I will be dropping my review. It should be by tomorrow. Um, but we did see the article that was written up as far as the ratings being high and everything else. Shout out to Tilted Crown Productions, uh, Melody Cherie, Dawn Michelle, and the whole crew that's over there showcasing black love and family and all of that. I loved episode one. But let's go and get into some mess show. Uh, let's get into some mess. Before I do that, let me scan the comments. Again, shout out to you guys for spending your Saturday afternoon with me during this power hour. Um, I appreciate it. I really, really do. Uh, so crafty lion, baby. Now look, Queen Sheba had already said she had a part two coming. And, you know, I didn't doubt her. I didn't doubt her. Now, like I said, Queen Sheba, um, when I stepped on the scene, it's a, it's a, a couple that, 
you know, you just hold in high regards. And you know, it takes a lot to probably even get them to go there. But yeah, enough is enough. Now, it don't take as much for me. You know, I've tried to simmer it down just a little bit, I promise you. And I have, I'm proud of myself. But um, I may have to let loose, uh, uh, even in this video, child. Even in this video. But before I get into the content, Kathy Johns, Kathy, thank you so very much for the super sticker. I appreciate it. And look, I do not take it for granted at all. So thank you so much. Little fur babies out there barking, but they gonna bark. But thank you, Kathy. One well, last thing for you. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. All right, all right. But let's go ahead and get started. Again, guys, if you have not, hit the like button. Excuse me, hold on, guys. Hold on. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why my nose was trying to get stopped up and all of that. But if you have not hit the like button, please go ahead and hit the like button. Let's go ahead and get started. Shout out to whomever sent me um, the YouTube video with the time stamp of Sherelle's world and how she let loose on Mr. Carlos the King. Okay. Shout out to Sherelle's world. You know, we, we you know, uh, we, uh, chow. We, we, you know, we go up and down, I think. You know, Sherelle, we haven't forgotten, chow. We haven't forgotten you coming out here and sharing them documents of that court case. And you seem to have been in favor of Mr. Martel Holt. But look, people are able to change. People are able to, excuse me, change their opinions. Once they learn of more information and all of that, I think the mellow meters just went over there and let loose. But um, anyway, so the person that sent me with the timestamp, thank you. Because if I would have received it without the timestamp, I wouldn't most likely have watched. But Sherelle's World said that Carlos King is focused on world dominance and he's forgotten he has a show or several shows to produce. And facts, okay? Straight facts. I couldn't agree more. Um, also, the bottom half of this was his final, his tour dates now i'm confused because you know most times when you announce a tour you already got the lineup and you don't do one stop and then you gotta wait two three months later for the other most time tour stops are weekly weekly and uh i just don't think that he's gonna have the turnout i don't know if you guys can hit them dogs if so i'm sorry but i don't think he's gonna have the turnout that he had with Melody Cherie, but it's filled with none other than Bravo stars. Most of the tour for the, I think he had three or four, um, it's filled with Bravo stars. Where they do that at? You a whole producer on a couple of shows on a couple different networks and you are showcasing, which means you are making sure that these other shows that should be on a competing network, that they're performing better than your own shows. Where they do that at? You got bold and uh, uh, bougie, typical, typical, same, just women arguing. Um, and I haven't watched one episode, but I have um, I've seen a couple clips like on Instagram or whatever. Same thing, same formula. You know what I mean? And I think that that would have continued on Love and Mirror Tonsville had Mel didn't have the support. He tried, but I've never seen anything like this. Somebody that has shows that are currently on air and he is talking about and showcasing other folks that are on competing networks and Sherelle was right 
Carlos could be giving us great reality TV, especially on Love and Marriage Huntsville, especially on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, she mentioned Sherelle's world that the way it started off was really great. And it was. And the reason why is because of Mel being authentic and transparent as far as what she was dealing with at home and the breakdown of her marriage. And Carlos used that and showcased that. But somewhere down the line, Mr. Carlos told, and Carlos, I'm going to go ahead and use your words because this is not alleged. Let me go ahead and put this on here before I say it. And that ain't alleged. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos told Marcel Scott that he didn't have to talk about his personal life. So if you guys remember when Carlos had his podcast, he had Marcel and Tisha on. And Marcel was talking about how frustrated he was. You know, he didn't sign up for this. This was early on. He didn't sign up for this and he was ready to quit the show. And Carlos told him, no, don't do that. Don't worry about your private life. Just focus on your business. Again, where they do that at? We talking about folks on a reality show and you telling them it's okay for them not to give their reality and focus on business? What? You didn't demand that from everybody else. Hey, really? Hey, didn't demand that from everybody else. Like I said, he didn't have to demand it when it comes to Mel because Mel just came out the gate with what was going on. That is reality. And that's what we should see. Reality TV. But basically, he said to Marcel, we'll put that out instead. Focus on black. Focus on this. And I remember, is Black Titanic in here? Because I got something coming about you guys. Hey, Black Titanic. Okay, you're resting. Okay. Get some rest. We love you, Black Titanic. All right. Oh, see, this is why it's good that I have my phone and if I could look down. If I missed anybody, my apologies. Any content creators, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't get a chance to say hello to everybody else, but uh, Moz, if it's content creators or anything, point them out if you don't mind. And if you see anything that you feel like shouldn't be here, um, zap it, zap it, zap it. Yes, Black Titanic, uh, Miss Black Titanic, we are praying for you for sure, for sure. But yeah, he told Marceau that. Um, we also know that he will sugarcoat the hay out of what's going on with Mr. Martell Ho. Will sugarcoat everything when it comes to Martell, you know? Uh, he always, in my opinion, have painted Martell out to be a good guy, a good guy. And he promised those that would have been at that, um, those that attended, excuse me, uh, the, the first Melodies tour in Huntsville, that he would address the real when it comes to Martell. He didn't, and I don't think that he will. Just my opinion. I don't think that he ever will. But we know that Carlos showcased Mr. Martell around. Um, we remember last summer, Carlos basically held the man by his hand, took him through Atlanta. They went to Dish Nation and all these other studios and, you know, forcing Martel and everything that comes with him in folks' face to continue on the lie. And people really got a problem with that, Carlos. And I think that that's what Carlos don't understand. It's nothing personal for me because, look, if we are just going to be real, it really should be admirable to celebrate a man in the space that he's in as far as being a producer and all of that. But when you can peep game and see all the shadiness behind the scenes, then that's why he gets what he gets. Um, we were talking about just a couple weeks ago that 
Man, he came on here and praised the hell out of Portia Williams. Praise the hell out of Portia. And if anybody can point me in the direction of where he even congratulated Mel on her network, let me know, because I ain't seen it. So I think that Carlos is stuck on Bravo for a reason. We all know the uh, the alleged rumors of why he was let go, allegedly. He said he wasn't, but other people said he was. I don't know. Let me put it out there. But I think that if he did not leave on his own, that I think he's, he still feels like that's a part of his family. Instead of, again, showcasing his own shows, every stop of that tour should consist of somebody that's on his show every stop but again shout out to bravo that's why they got them ratings shout shout out to bravo um sherelle's world said that carlos wants to be in the spotlight versus producing quality content and i agree totally agree uh his youtube channel as far as him being a blogger versus a producer to me is a conflict of interest but you know I guess he wants additional forms of income. I don't know. But it's weird. Uh, a couple people in Members Only the other day said um, that they would love to see Mel on Watch What Happens Live with Andy. And look, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, whatever the saying is, child. And I would too. I wonder how Carlos would feel, you know, because I'm sure Andy's like, damn, don't he got his own shows? Why is he focused on my talent? Why? Really, you said he ain't going to congratulate Mel because he's low-key mad. Mel don't need him anymore. Carlos is a female narc with his fake self. Ooh, chow. Not a, I, I read it right, sis. Not a, a, a female narc. Mm -mm. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Um, And when it comes to season seven, there's been rumors that uh that Tasha K interview will air and if it does carlos just be ready we coming we coming okay i do think that we will see the same old same old when it comes to season seven um and you know i think a lot of us are just really invested i told you guys as long as mel's there i'm there watching and reviewing and all of the above but either force everybody on that show to tell the truth or revamp the show. Well, just get rid of it. Well, Robin G, absolutely. We coming, okay? Don't let that interview play. Oh, uh, you know, we'll see. But look, I believe it. I really, really believe it. That we will see it. So I think the man want to be on Bravo. And, uh, you know, you dropping the ball, sir. You dropping the ball. There's no way in the world I'm going to go on a tour. But let me go ahead and showcase Teresa from Real Housewives of New Jersey. Or let me showcase whoever. I didn't put the, the time, um, the tour dates and all of that on here for a reason. But hold on, guys. Um, uh, Tamara Judge, Real Housewives of Orange County. Teddy Mellencamp, Real Housewives of Orange County. You know, I ain't never seen nothing like this at all, at all. But anyway, I, I, look, I didn't even know I still had Martell up here. But I want to get into something before I do. Let me, this, these dogs cutting up. Let me let them in quick, quick 30 second break. guys thank you and aquarius goddess thank you for that because it uh it just struck me that it was beverly hills for teddy it was beverly hills for teddy um but 
Now look, I don't know if this person child was one of the Scott brothers that was all up and through my comment section, but I am confused. Um, Glenda, hey Glenda, I miss you all. Your birthday was February 26 and you turned 71. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Glenda, for being a member of the QDQ for nine months and 71. What a blessing. What a blessing. Happy, happy belated birthday to you. Um, and Terry Copeland. Terry, thank you for joining the QD crew. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh-oh. Shoot. what I do? Chow String, y'all been tripping. Okay, but let me get this off the screen. Now, uh, yesterday, no, day before yesterday, I believe, I dropped the video about Wanda and Cole's law. And I said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. The video, again, was about Wanda and Cole's law. Okay? But I got this long. Let me see if I can share this another way. Did I leave all them pictures open? Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Hold on, guys. Oh, shoot. I only see one, so I'm not going to try to do that. But I had a guy that just the way it ended off, I, I definitely feel like it was one of the Scott brothers. And I got I got some things to say about the Scots before I get into this long arse comment that was left on my video. Uh, but I watched a few videos yesterday here for hot tea and true tea and what is going on what's going on now everything shared is my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only everything is alleged but i gotta put this up here again and that ain't alleged <laughs> I don't know if it's alleged. Something ain't right. Allegedly, for the sake of this video, is Mr. Maurice Scott abusing his attorney powers? Did the man file charges or not? Somebody let me know in the comments. Did this man file a case or not? Because it seemed like allegedly he didn't. And I'm confused. Um, from what I understand, after watching a couple videos yesterday, there was supposed to be a court date of March the 11th. And then once they, shout out to True T as well, uh, and Black Titanic, I'm sorry, um, all of you ladies. But I believe that True T had uh, an attorney to look into this or whatever. Anyway, they couldn't find anything when it comes to an alleged court date for March 11th. Um, I'm confused. The paperwork that these ladies received, Black Titanic, here for hot tea, they say Anonymous received some as well. Did he draft that himself? Did he draft that? Now, I did hear that he was supposed to be representing himself, but sir, if they can't find anything at the courthouse, What's going on? What's going on? I'm confused. Um, I'm really confused. What's going on? I'm serious. You guys will have to fill me in because this is not making any sense to me. And what I do want to say is um, they are on the case. And if it is proven that Maurice, because even if, just now while I'm talking about this, yes, Rob Profective, scare tactic. That's exactly what I think it was, but that's not legal. That's not legal. That is not legal. And if he, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't there some type of subpoena or something like that as well? And if it was false, your arse in trouble, Maurice. Your arse is in trouble. And I told you guys, I believe that they are trying to, yes, bully. Bully seems to be the theme when it comes to a lot of men 
And as I said earlier, it's a lot of men that step for these women. I do think that it is a bullying tactic. I do think that is a it's a scare tactic tactic. I do think that it is to make YouTubers scared and not get out here and say what they want to say. I, that's what I really think that's going on. But that's a lawsuit. That's a lawsuit. And I got my eye out on it because, yeah, I hope they sue the hell out of him. Okay, Sheila, I got to say allegedly. Sheila said, hey, Chit Chat, he filed in Madison County, not in their county. He frauded the courts. Okay. Okay, okay. Allegedly, allegedly. April, you said it sounds like he might have drafted it himself. Mm-hmm. Because he's representing himself if it's not recorded at the courthouse. It got to be recorded at some courthouse. Sheila, drop down. And let me know a little bit more. If he filed it in Madison County, what is the date? Now, just for me, having an eye out on different sectors on YouTube, I do know that when you file a case, you are supposed to file it in the county or state or whatever where the parties are. And if that wasn't done... Something ain't right. Really, you say it's harassment, intimidation, stalking, bullying, and misuse, not the certificate, <laughs> misuse of his certificates. Definitely misuse of attorney privilege. And we'll discuss, like I said, just like Sheila just dropped down, I need you guys to fill me in on that. Um, because I did not see, you know, naturally, you can't watch everybody, but I did catch Here for Hot Tea and True Tea yesterday. And I want to know what's going on. And I want to know when, when them papers going to be filed to go ahead and sue Mr. Man, because no, nah, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Okay. But let me go ahead and get into this subscriber in quotation marks. Because I do think as far as where the direction of this went, I do think that in my opinion, and I can't prove it, so it is alleged, this is somebody close to the Scots, if not them themselves, okay? Uh, again, this video yesterday was about Ariane Curry and Messy Earth One. I'm just confused how all of this got in my comment section. But this person said, uh, and I'm going to read it, guys. It's pretty long. I think he got 16 points. Uh, who is that that put that? Laquita. That's why he requested their info. And April said asking for bank records and passwords is completely out of order. I totally agree. And I do know that they were smart enough not to provide that, but YouTube also needs to do a better job when it comes to, if that's the case, giving our folks this information because it's my understanding that subpoena, even a subpoena should have a record at somebody courthouse. You know what I mean? And uh, YouTube, Google needs to do a, a better job of, even if you get a copyright strike, Look at the content, you know, like man's was able to be successfully removed. Look at the content and make your judgment before you just get somebody a strike. You know what I mean? But um, let's go ahead and get into this long arse comment. Uh, uh, somebody from the Scots, that's all I have to say. That's my opinion only. And this guy wanted a response. And he just got his comment removed. That's it. And if you're listening, if you're here, drop down. I would love to chat with you on the panel to discuss everything that you said here. Okay? But, um, again, it's going to be a little long. He said, I don't see Ariane as overly sexualized. I do, sir. And a lot of us uh, do. Okay? She is no different than the other young people of her generation. There are hundreds of examples and instances of women under 35 who talk about SX 
look at the housewives franchise or love and hip hop or whatever even rappers like megan the stallion and Lil kim they speak about it often yeah but they weren't speaking about it about somebody else's husband sir okay they wasn't speaking about it and they wasn't using it as a means to taunt the then wife all right now everything else he made sure to throw that in there about area every damn thing else is about marceau and maurice and again i'm confused because this this or that video had nothing to do with them shout out to 912 of you that are watching let me continue please hit the like button for me though number three maurice and marceau did not cheat on their wives it is the weirdest experience to watch african-american women stand on the fact that martel and arian lie about everything including their child's real name but the only thing that is not a lie is what they say about marceau and maurice cheat child <laughs> where you come from let's be clear they don't really say anything now this is again in the comments on my comments he really slanging and banging for them scotch child uh make it make sense with the face palm emoji then he said after five years half a decade all of these random people swearing up and down that these two men are cheating there's no truth there's no mistress again random subscriber that's going this hard i don't think so let me go ahead and move on um no text no emails and no video uh maurice or marceau if it's you just go on, be be your authentic self. Drop on down in the comments. Uh, you going too hard. Proof is the video that is circling about Apollo cheating on his current wife in a video. I mean, he's really invested. Proof is Derek John, uh, John being recorded cheating on his wife. Proof is a mistress doing an interview with Tasha K, like Ariane Curry did. The people who everyone uses as credible are Martel Holt, Ariane Curry, and Tisha's cousins, who are all prolific cheaters and liars. Number eight, can we please stop with this blatant lie? <laughs> Number nine, it's not right to keep doing this, and it's really coming across as evil. Now, sir, I'm going to ask, I'm going to stop real quick before I continue. Uh, did you get my video mistaken with somebody else's? Where is this coming from and why? And I'll get into a little bit of uh, that, a little bit more of that song. Number 10, stop lying on these two black men. Stop implying that there are two or more women that engaged in these affairs when it's not true. Were they in bed with you, sir? What, I mean, what's going on? Were you? Are you there? every second and minute of the day. And that's why I feel like it's one of them. How would you know? Is my question to you, okay? Number 11, number 11, let me get on back to Let me bring my phone up, child, hold on. Number, that's what I said, Mitzi. Maurice or Marceau, one child, allegedly. Um, and look, I agree with him, quiet storm, I agree. Uh, overly sexualized. We talked about that as far as the music industry a couple times. That don't have nothing to do with what Ariane Curry has done. Okay. Um, but let me continue. Again, this video was about Ariane and Wanda. Number 11. How do you in your right mind use Martel and Ariane as your justification, but then turn around and attack Carlos King for giving them a platform to spread lies on Melody. What the hell are you talking about, sir, ma'am, or whoever you are? You right, uh, T. Marie. It definitely sounds like cool, cool for Coco Puss, Basement Billy, for real. 
Please don't attack me or get mean or angry. What? <laughs> what? You under my video talking all this, but you don't want me to say anything, sir. Please take a moment before you respond and think it through. I did. I did. Um, number 14. Number 14. Ladies are actively spreading lies on two men just because you don't like them. Using three people who are everything and worse, you accuse these two black men of being. That's toxic and twisted. Who are the three people? Did he... Did he uh, include male in this. He already said Martel and Arian earlier. Um, who's the third person? Sir, drop down. I think so too, Rob Perfective, for sure. I said a Scott brother. Scott's in my, con uh, in my comment section. Then he said, number 15, the bloggers would be in their feelings if Maurice and Marceau took legal action. Keyword, guys. We've been talking about these legal actions, haven't we? We've been talking about this because at this point it is slander. Where you come from on this video is what I want to know. Now, if you are a content creator and if you've received this very same exact comment in your comment section, let me know because this seems calculated and he wanted please take a moment before you respond he wanted a respond a response that's what he wanted 16 it's other more relevant ways of generating likes and clicks and this right here ain't it it's dead wrong what the hell are you talking about sir okay if you got a problem with the rumors, take it up with the very people that you mentioned. Please do that because we just heard audio again of Ariane Curry saying that Marceau Scott, Marceau, if you got a problem and if you're listening or Basement Billy, if this is you or Maurice or whoever else, Ariane Curry just said on audio again, Again, that Marceau has been with somebody for nine years. So this long ass comment that you left in my comment section, you can go ahead and copy and paste it and send it on to Ariane Kerr. That's what you can do. Or you can send it on to Martel Holt. Martel Holt has told these men to their faces that they've cheated. But yet, you taking the time out your day to go on YouTube and attempt to tell content creators what they should and should not talk about. Yes, Aunt Debbie. Scott's in my comment is in the title for a reason. Because you can't tell me it ain't one of them. But what you're not going to do is tell me, just like this next person, what to do on my channel that's just what that you know you don't have to please save yourself all that typing it took uh, i removed I, I took screenshots and deleted that shit in about five seconds and it probably took you a good 30 minutes to type all of that save yourself save yourself move around please okay youtube is free you can start a channel for free and then you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay? Whatever you want to talk about. Um, and we'll discuss. I'll drop my link soon. But let me get on this last point. Who chow? They were on one yesterday. And um, I haven't, with everything that I got going on. I, oh, it's getting a little stuffy up in here. I haven't had a chance to... Go through all of my comments. You guys know what I've, I've gone through, moved cross country. I'm just now putting up clothes and all of that today. Still got boxes and stuff everywhere. And I haven't had a chance to really go through my comment section. And I just so happened to go through my comments yesterday. And that's how I was able to see these two comments. Um, hold on, guys. <clears throat> 
because I'm hot. Let me open this door and find my remote to turn this fan on. I don't want to turn on my central air this early. Hold on. Okay, here's my remote. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe I need to close the door because I'm about to let you do I think. Okay. I will get through it. I'll close the door just in case I have to cuss or something. I don't want my new neighbors to think uh, what's going on. Um, Netta said that's definitely basement Billy. Child's one of them. And that's my opinion. That's my opinion. It is one of them. Um, this is their storyline, in my opinion, for season seven. I hope they blur out the names of CC's who haven't given permission for them to use their content and likeness for the show. Thank you for saying that, DG, because that's exactly what I've been saying for the past couple weeks. I think that they are going to start planning stories. Take your time when you guys hear things and let the dust settle, because I think they're going to start planning stories and everything else to show how easily it is for us to run with it. And like I said the other day, we're going to run straight to the bank. You know what I mean? But I, I totally agree with you. It will be a part of season seven. We can do a little wage. We can do a little wage. Um, Tyra said, y'all know this is the most mayonnaise get talked about in my caramel rails voice. We don't give a cold. God damn. What they got going on? Uh, the CC's is about to hand Maurice's arse, okay? Uh, baby, yes, Sheila, because that, hey, Angela, that is not legal. That is not legal. So those documents, I'm sure, because it's my understanding that they both have already obtained attorneys. And yeah, I would demand that the validity of what I received is proved, okay? Um, but Sheila... You, you said that, but I also wanted you to let me know, how did you know that he filed in Madison County? Or is that just, you know, rumors? Because if there's a filing, there should have been a court, court date Um, to me. And I agree, Netta. Netta said that it's the tone of his writing that just seems familiar and uh, how he speaks. Yeah, I don't even look at him anymore. I'm going a, I'm to a, um, share... A video where I had to let loose on Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, just in case it is him. I will share that again uh, this afternoon. It was about a year ago. You guys make sure to check it out. But when I say folks are crazy, let me go ahead and touch on this other comment. Now, look, I don't know if folks got hidden agendas just to have hidden agendas, but I'm not one of them, okay? And this chick pissed me off. Shout out to the uh, 1,048 of you that's watching. Please make sure to like the video. Uh, whoever this is, piss me off. And, you know, look, I'll get into that, but I typically don't even address subscribers. My temper is just a little too, you know, if, if that was the case, I'd be going off all day long. But I want to read you guys what this lady says she's sick of, okay? <laughs> She's sick of it. Um, SS, or whatever your name is, before I read this, find you somebody to play with. Find you somebody to play with. Now, as you guys can see on the screen, this chick had the nerve to say, it's giving you like coleslaw and want to be friends with her. And it's giving, is it crack? Is that what you want? That's what it's giving. But then she said, I'm sick of hearing you say her name. <laughs> She's sick of me. Now, scroll through YouTube, and you're probably going to see a 100 videos just from this week alone of content creators. But she's sick of me. Number one, like I give a damn. It's giving another male op. I'm a op because in that video yesterday, I was speaking on Paris's stepmama, who I feel like is a better mom and most definitely a better example of being a mom to Paris, 
than her own mom. But this chick say, I'm trying to make them famous, child. I'm trying to make them famous. Hey, Juan Davis, Quiet Storm said, how you sick of something on somebody else's channel? If you don't like it, you can hit the eggs. Well, she asked all right. She 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 asked. Uh, she can't comment no more, but she can watch. Um, but look, I'm trying to make um Paris's stepmother famous, I guess, as well as Cole Slaw and 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 Baby Slaw or whatever she called him, Baby Slaw, and I call him Miles Morales. That's his name. Um, we don't give a D about slaw or baby slaws. <laughs> Who child? Before I even, let me just, hold on. Let me, let me drink some water. And, um, you know, I'm coming off a of strike, so I'm really, really trying to keep it cute. But let me say this. In that video, I didn't show Paris's step mama's name nor Paris so has that making them famous and again go through YouTube and you probably gonna see a hundred two hundred videos in the past two weeks but get your crazy ass off my page that's what you gonna do and I could care less if you sick I can give a damn honestly now, if you wanted me to come out here and say something negative about Paris, you got it wrong. If you wanted me to say something negative about Miles, you got it wrong. But what you can do is you can create you a YouTube channel, just like I told, who I think is a part of the Scots. And you can be sick of whatever you talk about. But it's the audacity for me. It's the audacity for me. Um, her name was S.S. Wu or some shit. Girl, what are you talking about? Bang you somebody to play with. I, you know, look, there is a lot of content that I see that I don't care for. And I keep it moving. I keep it moving. I'm sick of hearing you say her name. Why your ass on my page then? Yeah, you sick, all right. Because if you see a thumbnail, and this is to anybody, if you see a thumbnail, that thumbnail should give you a clue what this video is going to be about. And if you don't want to hear it, then move around. Move around. So it's people like this that leave comments but won't click the link. Folks of Christ. And like I said, I typically do not address subscribers. But don't think for one second that I won't. Please don't think for one second that I won't. Boo boo, or whatever your name was or is, with that little ugly ass dog that was in your avatar. Woo woo. Get you some business, okay? You don't tell me what to do. And I started my YouTube channel free, and so can you. Create you a Gmail address. Get on YouTube, click create account, and go for what you know. It's people like her that don't send a cash out, a super chat, don't contribute to a light bill, electric bill that's needed to put out content, internet, internet bill that's needed to put out content that think they running some shit. And you're not. So if you sick, take your sick ass on. Now, create another account and drop that drop down in the comments. Well, drop down in this comment, hit subscribe, and click the link. Because I'm sick of your ass too, and I don't even know you. And I'm sick of people like you that think you can tell somebody what to do or say. It's people like that. Then you get out and talking about ops and all this shit. I don't operate like that. I don't operate like that. I have no reason to. If I don't rock with a person, I don't rock with them. There is no ulterior motive. But it's people like this that want to put bugs in folks' ear and whisper. Or if you don't say some shit that they want you to say, then they want to put it out there like you ain't for somebody. Show me how you support. What have you done, woo-woo? 
with your ugly ass dog. What have you done? DM me and let me know how much you've supported. Let's compare, let's compare receipts. So thank goodness that I did have time to look at a couple comments uh, yesterday and uh, something is telling me I may have to go through a couple more videos, but I'm not the one or the two. And look, uh, there is freedom of speech, but you ain't about the free speech on my shit talking about me. Where they do that at? Can somebody let me know? Where do they do that at? If I don't like you or I don't like your content, I'm not dropping down in your comment section and telling you what you should or should not do or what you should or should not say. I'm just not going to do it. Everybody got a right to talk about whatever the hell they want to talk about. Yeah, that damn dog got anxiety. Got that dog seven, eight different colors. Purple ears, pink paws, yellow tail. The hell? What's going on? I'm sick of looking at your ugly ass dog. Take him back to the groomer. I'm sick of it. Take him to the groomer. Wash that shit out. It looks tacky. And we sick of it. We sick of it. Okay. Now, I wish that this didn't cut off. Let me see if I got a full picture of the ugly ass dog. Cut on, y'all. Let me see. Because if so, let's see. Dog it. I cut it off. Yeah, look, ugly ass dog. Looking like rainbow bright. We sick of people like you that are doing this to animals that don't have a choice. Got them walking around. You are up to your own damn dog. You are up to your own damn dog. Okay. My fur babies, I would never. I would never. But yeah, she had the nerve to tell me, child, she's sick of me. In, in my comment section, where they do that at? In my, and then on top of her, Mr. Man, with this 16 bullet point point. Take that shit up with Eric. Matter of fact, uh, again, there was audio that was just released. Now, if you're watching my videos, then I'm sure you know there was audio just released a couple weeks ago. Go paste this shit over there or go send it to Ariane Curry uh, on Instagram. You can find it on TikTok. Send this to her or Martell Ho. But again, I'm so confused where y'all get the know. Uh, Mr. Man, I ain't never, and it ain't about no, but see, when you trying to tell me what to do with my time, it takes time to create content. It takes time to sit on live. It takes lights, energy, and every damn thing else. You're not contributing. So you don't get to tell me what to do. So newsflash to anybody that feel like they got the audacity to tell, you know, and I don't do this. I promise you, I got almost 23K subscribers. And for the most part, love each and every one of you. You guys know how we rock and roll, okay? And how we get down. And most times, it is not this. But, you know, I, you know, I don't know if they knew. You may want to go back and look at some previous videos. Woo, woo, with the ugly ass dog, ass woo, or whatever your damn name was. And this alleged Scott brother, or somebody related to the Scott, that felt the need to drop down and tell me why I should or should not. And I'm just trying to think, when's the last time I even talked about Maurice or Marceau? But if it was Marceau cheating, again, that audio was just last week. So you may have seen a couple content creators talking about it. Talking about hearing with our own ears, Ariane Curry say that my soul been talking to somebody for nine years so my advice to you is while you are messaging ariane curry and martel Holt, you can go ahead and send one to the scott brothers as well 
because I've been asking them, how come they don't have the same smoke for them? Martel and Arion. Okay. So, who chow? Baby. Um, yeah. Uh, woo woo with your little ugly ass dog. I hope you at Pet Coast, Pet Smart, somewhere right now. Right now. Fixing your fur bag. Be sick of that. Be sick of looking at him like that, okay? Be sick of that. So, anyway, guys, I've been running my mouth for a, this was supposed to be a power hour. And I've been running my mouth for over an hour. But a real quick back and forth if you guys want to click the link. Let's chit chat. Uh, woo woo. As woo woo. Yes, Robin. As woo woo. Go ahead and create another page. Okay. And you're going to continue to create. But, you know, I, I, I can't stand that. I can't stand people that, you know, I'm, I'm real cool. I promise you guys that. Whether you agree with me or not. And, you know, we can talk. We can talk. But don't just put your mess out here. Uh, uh, or how you feel with her evil ass. How you feel. Somebody trying to make folks famous people been talking about Ariane curry for 10 years as long as she's been a sad chick but you felt like you was just sick of yesterday girl if you don't take your ass on somewhere so this goes out to the both of them where is it where is it where is it where is it hold on then i'm gonna read you guys comments uh, this goes to the both of them. Boy, shut your ass up. Shut your ass up, okay? Go ahead and get you some business. Hey, Prosperity. So I'm off my, uh, uh, whatever this was that I was on. But um, yeah, I really, really do believe that that is somebody, if not them, that's close to the Scots. I really do uh, believe that because it was just too much. And for what? Video had nothing to do. Woo-woo, I'm sorry. I'm not talking about you, woo-woo. No, 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 no. This is not the woo-woo, guys. This lady's name, Lord have mercy. <laughs> woo-woo, it's not you. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Let me go back and look at the picture. Uh-uh-uh. I'm sorry. Y'all, this is not the woo-woo. This is not the woo-woo. Where's that comment? um shoot i think when i cropped it i cropped it out but it was s it was hold on um da, 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 da. shoot it was s something woo woo not you woo woo s s s s something s s something with woo woo behind it but it was w u w u so it's not this woo woo all right guys uh, let me read some comments. What show uh, things? Love and Mirror Chanceville? Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know, Love Aura, because, you know, a lot of us are grown, grown. A lot of us are on a social media. Um, a lot of us on TikTok and Instagram, this or that or whatever, you know. And it's a difference when you love you too, woo-woo. It's a difference when you are content creative because just you know because yeah content creators gonna create content but typically we are not you know unless it's something we really passionate about slanging and banging like that and just be loud and wrong loud and wrong um uh, the thing is take up whatever issue you got with the people where it originated from and martel ho said it with his chest as far as Marceau, and it's my opinion, sir, whoever you are, that that's the reason why they've kept Marceau so close. Then, sir, if you're still listening, we also um, saw Maurice on the reunion. And Maurice said he wasn't in Atlanta or he didn't see nobody. Then his own brother bust him out. Martel said Ariane, the one that took the picture, all that stuff. You know, but you coming at other folks. Go at them. Go at them. 
But let me read. I'm sorry, Miss Island. Oh, Lord. I told you I'm trying to get away from this. I am. I am. Um, yes, Basement Billy always pops up to defend Maurice and Marceau, and they don't even associate with him. Yeah. Carlos associated with him. He let him on that show, child. Uh-huh. 693 likes and 1,029 watching. Shout out to the bushes. Please hit the like button if you guys don't mind. Shout out to the replay gang gang uh, as well. Hey, prosperity. Um, And yeah, let me scroll up. Let's read some comments. That's like coming to someone's house and telling them to turn off the air. Girl, say it again. Turn off the air. Turn the heat on. Why you use this type of toilet tissue? Why you do? What? Girl, because it's mine. That's why. But to say, I could scroll right now. And again, I could see all the videos that were made this week about Ariane Curry and Miles Morales and Martell and everything else. But she chose me. She chose me. So it is what it is. Uh, I would much rather hear the analysis of good content creators than this particular show because the quality of the show. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Well, you know, we can only report on what we see. And that's why I started this off. Um, well, not I started it off, but uh, mixed in about Carlos King in there. You know, it is up to Carlos, no matter what he's trying to sell us now, to provide us with good content. And I just think he don't give a damn. You know, I think that they hit that 100 episodes. He good as far as syndication. And um, it, it's odd, though. It's really odd. Because if I had that type of, I don't want to say power, but essentially it is power. You are the self-titled creator as well as the executive producer, your um, production company and all of the above, which means you control what people see, you know? And uh, like Sherelle World said, girl, Carlos King is, he trying to really, really be a star himself. He trying to be a star himself. So I, I don't think that he cares. I really don't. Um, But okay, let me scroll up. I will much, okay, I read that already. Uh, Miss Island quit, Mrs. Island quit laughing. Don't Piano Teeth got a dog like that? Child, who is Piano Teeth? The time has passed where Hollywood, Hollyweird has lost its power to control the opinions of the public on a story that it creates. CK needs to definitely control the quality, key word, quality of his productions. Of his productions. Yes, ma'am. Tyra, did I call a dog Rainbow Bright Child? I was in a zone. <clears throat> I was in a zone, okay? Angela Richardson stop says, since he announced his departure, he wants us to see who's talking about Tim. He, okay, so you guys are talking about AL in the chat. I did um, see that he said goodbye. He said goodbye. Uh, yes, Sharon, the dog can get it too. Do you hear me? Put that dog up against my dog. Okay, uh, SS Woo Woo, SS Woo Woo. Um, oh no, people sometimes look like they dogs. Lord, hey, Jenny B. Uh, okay, uh, yes, dog then called a stray child. And you know what, PK Joe, I, I, I was mixed up, you know, uh, because at first, when I first read the first sentence, you, you must want to be her friend, girl. Back. I would never, ever associate myself with the likes of anyone that conduct themselves like that. Uh, I've always made it to a point to say lack of morals, lack of every damn thing when it comes to Ariana. And I want to be her friend. Birds of a feather flock together. No man. But PK Joe, after 
when she started talking about the baby slaw, her words and, and, and uh, whatever, that's what made me think that it wasn't. Um, I did have who I thought Arian uh, in my comments, probably when I first started my channel. And yeah, they got cussed right on out to whoever it was. But yeah, that's why I was confused because it started off saying you a hater, but you really want to be my friend. But then, you know, look, I ain't got no problem with nobody again and how they do what they do as far as their content. You know what I mean? Um, but I've made it a point to try to, because for me, I just feel like I'd just be just like Wanda. And I got a problem with Wanda with the things that she said about the Eminem kids. So I ain't about to come out here and talk about Pierre. Paris ain't done nothing. Neither has Lil Miles Morales. You know what I mean? But the parents have. So that's why we're going to keep it for me. Um, you don't have to address them weirdos. I know Overton. Uh, I had a little time. Um, I had a little time. That's all. And I'm going to try to go back into that and just delete. You know, just delete. Because, you know, it, it's nothing nice. It's nothing nice. And that's why I was saying when I mentioned, you know, even with um, Queen Sheba, you know, sometimes... Some people step in, in different ways. And I don't want to see that for myself. I just don't. I'm in a new space, new beginning, all of that. And that's how I would like to keep it. But sometimes, you know, when somebody tell you they sick of you, you've got to say something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, otherwise, yeah, the ignore is my new best friend. New best friend. Okay. Well, I'm going to scroll down and read some comments. We are at an hour and 26 minutes the link is there if don't nobody want to come up that's all good with me because i am hanging clothes once i'm done with that i'm gonna look at charnita's world i'm gonna pick out on some raisin canes and then um i gotta i don't know i may i may go back outside later tonight we'll see i'm trying not to be outside outside too much but dang, I'm coming in late. I'm going to have to catch the replay to see what's going on. Ooh, chow. Oh, no. Woo, woo. <laughs> woo, woo. I'm so sorry. Especially if anybody says something to the real woo, woo. We're not talking about the real woo, woo. Okay. But she said, this woo, woo loves Chit Chat's voice and deep analysis. However, her read today is hilarious. Thank you, woo, woo. Thank you so much. I'm sorry if you caught some strays. Um, and no, it was SS woo woo, not my woo woo right here. So, uh, but thank you, thank you again. I appreciate you. Let me find my little money, money, money. Uh, where is it? Oh, I think I'm gonna have to really start wearing my glasses because I'm not looking for this one. Where is it? Hold on, guys. Tyra, I got something for you, too. Hold on. OMG, where's my OJs? Where's my OJs? I hope I didn't delete it by mistake. I didn't. Okay, child, I'm going to have to rename this. Thank you, Woo Woo. Plenty dollars. Plenty dollars. Can we get... <laughs> All right. Okay, I see Prosperity Thick Girl. Prosperity Thick Girl. Hey, Prosperity. Hey, babe. Hey, how are you? Who would like my sister to be up here by herself? Like, you don't got no people to hit that line. You gotta hit that line. Girl, look, I'm good solo. I'm good. You know, I like I like other opinions, but you know, I'm good solo now. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. When she gonna bring the people up? I know she got a backstage pool. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, look, it's Saturday. Hopefully people are out enjoying their Saturday. Well, it is 1K in the chat. So I thank you guys. People shout a day, child. And I think That's I did a, a, a... Yeah, I think I did enough let loose. Oh, it's raining where you are. Yeah, it's rainy in D.C., so we ain't got that. Oh, um, Really? Look at Terry T, baby. Terry, yes, it is. Some of y'all, it's not the dog's fault. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, yes, it is. T, baby, birthday. Tell her happy birthday. Who? Just one second. 
Hold on, guys. She said somebody's birthday. Prosperity. All right. Okay, I see a couple more people. Let me read this real quickly. Simply beautiful. I see you. Who chow? I see Undebe. Ooh, baby. But let me read Jenny. Jenny said, I love how you acknowledge his names as Miles Morales and not the ugly earth dog. Do you, sis? Love your content. Yes. Miles Morales is what it is for me now going forward to the end of time. That ain't no shade. I'm just calling that baby what his mama, what he told his mama his name is. But I'm also... You know, you know it was the goal, always have been, for the girl to get a hope and call him a hope. And I'm just not going to do it anymore. So, Mouse Morales, it is for me. Thank you, Jim. One last thing for you. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! All right. Um, prosperity. Uh, hold on. Hey, Simply Beautiful. Hey, Tita. I'm so glad you're here because I wanted to hear from you the other night. And you know, we have been there three and a half hours. I know your work schedule. Why? I don't know. That's how crazy I am. <laughs> oh, I know that's why I, <laughs> why I don't see you often, but thank you. And then we got Aunt Debbie. Hey, Aunt Debbie. Hey, how you doing? How y'all ladies doing? <laughs> Hi, Aunt Debbie. Yeah. Hey, Prosperity. Why are you laughing, Aunt Debbie? It's hard to be to let me down. glass. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's how we say it from Chicago. We say ugh glass. That ugh glass dog. Okay. We'll <laughs> get you some business, lady. Okay. That's why she got the damn dog. Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Little dog is innocent, huh? Little ugh glass dog is innocent. <laughs> I'm glad you keep saying little ugly. <laughs> and, and, and how you spell that for those of you that want to use it. U G L A S S. Ugh, ladies. That's how we say it. From oh, yeah. Put it in the chat. Okay. Um, <laughs> but prosperity, before you put me on hold, you said it was somebody's birthday. Whose birthday? Your daughter? Prosperity. She probably walked prosperity. away from my laptop. Okay. All right. Well, Simply Beautiful, we're going to start with you once again. Thank you, sis, for joining me. It is good to hear your voice. What mm -hmm. you've been up to and what you think about everything. Oh, Piano Teeth is Basement Billy. You guys are right. Piano Piece, it, we do know Terry T, baby. We know. We know that Miles Morales is from Spider-Man. We know. But that baby said that's his name and that's what he's going to be called. But thank you for that, Patricia T. Yes, piano T. Them teeth do go here, which away. You hear me? Um, but simply, <laughs> simply beautiful. Your thoughts on everything. Carlos King, uh, we touched on Mel and Shanita Foster. They're going to be doing great things in Ghana. Uh, we spoke about who I think was Basement Billy or one of them Scots in my comment section. And we also spoke about that ugly ass dog. What's your thoughts? <laughs> Well, as far as Carlos goes, I just want to see if them other dates sell out the way that Mel sold out. Thanks. Because I, I, I haven't heard anything about, oh, Atlanta has sold out with Tamar. Oh, Jersey has sold out with Teresa. I ain't hear none of that. Mm -hmm. So I just want to see if that, you know, the outcome is the same. That's all I want to see when it comes to Carlos, because I really don't pay attention to Carlos. I think Carlos is a complete hypocrite. I think he needs to worry about his own shows versus Bravo shows. Right. And I, I do find it funny that most of the talent on this tour is Bravo talent, but yes. all right. <laughs> yes. It, it's, crazy. it's crazy though, because this is the time. Like, I think he's supposed to have, I think, one of the bold and bougie girls at the DC one, or is that the DC cast? Because I'm confused. Um, I'm looking at it right now. Now, first of all, we'll, I'll read the dates. Uh, I wasn't trying to give them any shine, so I'm not going to share it. But uh, first, I do have a question. 
the tour with Mel was January 21st. I won't forget it because that's my mama. May she rest in peace birthday. Mm -hmm. um, and then three months later, February, March, April is when the next one is. But um, when it comes to the Love and Marriage DC cast, no, I don't see anybody with uh, that's from Bold and Bougie. So he got Ashley Silva. He has Arena, Joy, and Winter. All of them will be at that one. And you want to know something? The only reason why all of them are at that one is because of all the beef that is going down with DC right now. Uh-huh. That is the and only Ashley reason why. Huh? I said, and Ashley is a mean girl. Well, I don't watch DC, so I can't tell you who's a mean girl, who ain't. I have no interest in that. No, I don't either. I don't either, but like the reality, uh, I can't think of the Instagram page. You know, those that put the clips up mm -hmm. and they showing that, you know, uh, Ashley been going at it with Joy and Cliff, you know, and, and people tearing Ashley up where she said she won't even be on the show again. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. If I thought she, I know I heard she wasn't returning. I also heard Winter's not returning either. Really? That's what I heard. I don't know where I was. Where I, I read that somewhere or heard it that she's supposed to not be returning either. But I don't really mm -hmm. watch DC. I don't watch Detroit at all. I don't watch any of that. Mm -hmm. Which is why I yeah. said he needs to focus on his own shows versus what's going on over there at Bravo. Yeah. Bold and bougie, don't have an interest in it. <laughs> I haven't watched not one episode. Not one episode. I have seen, though, again, on Instagram, um, Tamika Foster and what's her name? Gaucher going at it. But it's the same thing. And people in the comment section on Instagram is saying that. He's creating shows for women to go back and forth with mm -hmm. each other. Yeah, and then I heard he did something where he said, People don't get iced out on his shows, Carlos. Carlos, that's a lot. come come to the front, Carlos, because that's mm -hmm. exactly what y'all were trying, which I have been doing on Love and Marriage Huntsville. We're not gonna sit up here. We're not gonna sit up here and act like that's not what's been going on. Mm -hmm. You literally allowed an entire cast to turn on one member, and then you sat in her face on that live and said, "Oh." I didn't know what was going on. You are lot. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I don't have any respect for Carlos. Carlos can kiss my ASF. I don't got any respect for him. Yeah. Uh who who else was y'all talking about? The uh basement Billy, I don't have no words for him. He's yeah. a complete he's a complete clown. And so is Hip Hop Harry. He's a clown. Who is I've Harry? never oh, oh. Ma you what's her what's, what do y'all call her something teeth <laughs> piano teeth piano teeth piano teeth okay okay now somebody in the comments said piano teeth is not basement billy i don't no. know all of these. oh okay, I'll, I'll tell you it's I, I the it. it's wanda's I best friend i see it pet just put it in the chat who child y'all <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have never liked that woman to chat. <laughs> oh, I ain't never liked that woman to chat since she was on that other panel. I've never liked her drunk ass. I'm sorry. Wow. And I don't like her sidekick. <laughs> Child, I had no clue. Y'all a mess. I figured it out because I wanted to write it in the chat, but I ain't want to be messy. <laughs> and i don't like her chit chat and i don't like her sidekick who talks like she's slow motion she's a sloth like, like, like she say every other word is like a mile long <laughs> wait a minute now, the sad chick because uh, 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 the sad kick or the sad chick the side the, chick put me in the back chat who is that oh <laughs> I call her slow motion. That's what I call them. Slow mo I call her a slow because everything is slow. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm in the back chat with who? Oh, uh. Maybe I like, I like it like that. 
Somebody back chat me, please. Okay, back chat I got me, you. please. Because I, I have no clue. I hey, look, Paulette in the game. I have no clue. I'm waiting for it. Okay, go ahead. Um, I, I don't like nobody. To <laughs> I don't like my <laughs> <Marquez. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> a mess. <laughs> a mess. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got somebody backstage. Hold on. Real talk. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who I want to use, child? I put this up here. Ooh, child, it's scary. Real talk with grace and mercy. If it's not, if isn't it grace and mercy? You cut your name off. Real talk with Grace and Mercy. Hey, I see you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now you were muted. So unmute yourself. Let me take this off the screen. But look at me. My numbers then dropped already. Let me take that off the screen. Um, y'all a mess. Now hold on. Hold on. Private chat. Y'all still didn't tell me who. Prosperity. I thought you said you got me. Back chat. Hold on. Who, do, who is the sad of uh, us? Uh, simply somebody. Who is the sad chick or kick? Who cares if they're cheating on their wives? We don't care. If the scars are cheating on their wives, good for them because they love them. Cheating on them. Okay, Doreen. Yeah, you know, it is What's up that? to the person. What's it is name? up to the person. But go ahead. Um, hey, Tawana. Tawana been getting it in. I saw you working out earlier. Uh, go ahead, simply, and then we're gonna get to um, prosperity and drop down, child. So we'll get to real talk with grace and mercy, and then Aunt Debbie Aunt will Debbie. take us on home. Lord, I, I, I don't really have anything else to say to Jack. I don't like nobody <laughs> else. <laughs> anything else? <laughs> the only yeah. person I like is Mel. <laughs> And I'm happy that she's going to Ghana. I'm happy, you know, it was nice to see her on live with her true friend and not none of those bitches from that show. Thank God. We, mm -hmm. But um, um, other than that, I don't. I, I want to listen to Aunt Dip. <laughs> <laughs> she coming, chap. Uh, I like to see a, a meal with the uh, students of the property preservation. Um, so it looked like just again for me and that one i believe i may have clicked on late but she was still mm -hmm. live um they were together but they were doing they had other activities planned for today correct anybody yeah, I know think she said they were going to be out in the field today right and that was like their meet and greet that was like their meet and greet so no their meet and greet was yesterday right that's what i said that was yeah. their meet yeah and so they were today. out working yep yeah Yep. So, you know, we like things that we can see, you know, we can see Stormy coming out here saying she had 40,000 orders a week or whatever, but we don't see any giveaways. What, what you're doing for the people that's, that's supporting you. Uh, Tisha and Marceau, we saw that low turnout at that Espo in Atlanta. You know, what else you guys got, uh, got going on? Maurice, it looked like we're going to see your arts caught because you didn't file some allegedly false paperwork wow. um, we gonna see that we won't see it on love and marriage huntsville because you know carlos gonna protect them but the real things that we can see uh it honestly it comes from it we know that I, the I, third, this month she got the mimosas with melody coming up and you know we've been seeing this with her go ahead um Cynthia. um i'm you know what maurice has got to be the dumbest of them all I mean, to, jeopard, to jeopardize the code of ethics of your law license, allegedly, filing, allegedly, filing mm -hmm. all of this falsified oh, stuff, I don't, mm, I don't get it. And Kimmy, you going down with the Titanic. Yeah. I, I, I just don't get it because he said more negative things about her than any of those content creators. Yes. Have. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Like he joked about you being bald headed, and that's the reason why you don't need a Jeep. You don't got no hair. That's what he said. That's not what the content creator said. 
He's the that's, one that said you're admirable because you roll over and suffer through it. That's, yeah. that's we we know that. He team. put that out there. Yes, ma'am. And he thought that's it was funny said. along with Carlos. Mm -hmm. But Carlos, y'all got. <laughs> that's your husband. You yeah. love him so much, but he thinks the the worst of you in your time of need. Mm -hmm. Who cares about your hair length when you want a, a, a truck? Who cares? She had enough hair. You still feel air in there. I, exactly. I just didn't get him with that. And now I want to file lawsuits against you. And then allegedly he's, he wants to file it against more content creators. Go away, Maurice. See, that's the problem. Well, you got too much time on your, your hands. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you want to file something, start on that initial post that was on the shave room when you sat down with Carlos King because it was so many people in that very comment section. I did a video of Dennis, Portia's ex. He was livid. Start with the people that are saying the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, did he so, ever respond to Dennis? I don't think so. Oh, um, Ha, ha. Well, that's not mm -hmm. that's it'd not odd. Nice. Yeah, it'd be nice mm -hmm. to respond to a man, you know, especially when it comes to all these disrespect of uh, all this disrespect of women. Um, you know, it would be nice to see some of them go at some men. I would love but to see it. Another thing that I didn't like about him, Chit Chat, it was the fact that the matter that it took for it to be an issue with her mother for it for him to see something wrong in what he said. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I didn't like. Like all of these people telling you you were wrong, and you even yeah. doubled down on what you said. You did, but it double down. It took for her mom to say, "What the hell is going on over there?" <laughs> for him to basically be rehearsed into an apology towards her mother, because I didn't miss that, Kimmy. How you had to basically rehearse his apology to your mama. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Right but, there in Houston, wasn't that in? Yep. But y'all worried about her libido. My love and Mary Johnsonville historian, beautiful, got all of the the facts. <laughs> do you hear me? And I do remember that. What's sad yeah, about it also, you know, I can't remember the around the time, the month that he was on Carlos, but we also know at that time that Kimmy had lost her dad and everything else. People mm -hmm. were outraged at that man. And just because you don't like the way More something is said, you know, just because you don't like the way something was said, um, people were outraged. And people, uh, and I'm going to get off, hey, Tuan. Um, okay, I'll read your comment. I'm glad to see you, sis. Keep up the good work. Um, people were outraged with Kimmy as well because, you know, we wanted a glimpse in. Since you came out and announced what you were going through and all of that and, you know, everything else that was shared uh, when it comes to breast cancer, we wanted a glimpse of the real and we didn't get that. People wanted to be educated. People wanted to be um, assured as far as, look, this is what I went through. This is how it made me feel. I experienced this. Then I got over that and none of that. Everything was focused on her husband. Everything. Sure and like you said, uh, Simply Beautiful, she going down with the Titanic and it may just be Black Titanic because they're going to foul that. They're going to foul that lawsuit on that earth. Okay. Allegedly. I don't, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. They better. They better. Now, Prosperity, you didn't drop down, drop down again, sis. I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know. You, it, it's probably the weather with you because I know oh, she, she, she ain't too right. far. Yeah, okay. it's raining. It's here in here in New York as well. It's raining. It's windy, okay. so I'm pretty sure they got about the same weather. Okay, she did say it was raining. Okay, all right. You know, prosperity be, be having a whole lot going on, child. Whole lot going on. <laughs> but um, simply hold your thoughts. We're gonna get to Aunt Debbie. Uh, not Aunt Debbie. I'm holding Aunt Debbie, child. Welcome to the panel, um, Hannah Grace, and also. Um, again, hey, real Anna. talk of grace and mercy. Hello, real hello. talk. Your thoughts. Hello. Uh, can you oh, hear me? Hello. Chat. Your thoughts. Real talk. Can I you can. hear me? Okay. Uh, I can. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. In panel, 
um I, my thoughts on i was thinking hey. uh on the same lines of simply about carlos king uh he uh used melody because he knew that the millimeters was going to activate and come out in full support and uh sell out and i haven't heard anything about those other uh stops uh selling out pro probably because they're not going to sell out um mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. so i think he just uh uses melody uh when he need her he don't uh care for melody uh he just uh you know trying to uh attach himself to her and uh use her uh to be you know to uh boost up uh his uh platform and so I think that's why he mm -hmm. chose her to be number right. one in Huntsville because uh, he knew that uh, everybody was going to be in full support of her. And as far as Mel mm -hmm. and Shanita Foster, mm -hmm. uh, I think they're doing a great thing in Ghana, you know, and uh, it's yeah. a, a blessing to uh, have a mind to want to give back because so many times uh, celebrities or uh, people in high status, you know, they have all the money, but they don't... Uh, uh, want to give back and help uh, people. They want all. They have got by twenty cars, uh, all this money or whatever. But mm -hmm. what are they doing for the community? What are they doing or what are they giving back? So uh, it's a blessing to uh, have that mind to want to give back to the people, cause that lets me know that it's not all about her oh, and uh, what she trying to do, but it's about uh, helping others. So I, I really, um, I'm glad about what they're doing. And uh, that's all I have to say for now. Oh, well, thank you uh, again, first of all, for hitting the panel. This is your first time up here, right? Yes, I'm trying. I've been in the bushes for a long time. Uh, so I'm trying to uh, come out of my comfort zone Girl. and get on the panel. Girl, if you don't get, in, get out and stay out them bushes. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you again. Number one, thank you for being in uh, members only the other night and all the inspirational words that you had to say. And I totally agree with you uh, about comment. Uh, is it, I mean, uh, Carlos, excuse me. I also think that the money that he made, just my opinion now, look, the man making money, getting views, uh, don't get me wrong, but it seemed like to me, if this tour was planned properly, you wouldn't have to wait three months um, to even announce other stops and dates and all of that. And I think that he's trying to give it that amount of time to see if it's going to sell out. And he know if we don't see sold out, first of all, we saw sold out the first night he announced mail. But if we don't see sold out in three months, oh, we coming. We, we coming. Um, so, yeah, I think like you think real talk that he used mail for you know um his purpose but it turned out to be exactly what it was supposed to be uh all the millimeters coming together and then she had that uh after party for them and all of that and you know that's why i'm glad that they were able to experience not what carlos had to say because from what i hear and what i saw he just sat up there and basically played dumb like he didn't even know the real stuff that's going going on but when it comes to mel and shanita they also and i think i forgot to say this earlier made the news in ghana so that is opening a mail up even more to other people as well as shanita shanita's been doing uh this type of work for a couple years now i follow her and i've been following her but it is it's a beautiful beautiful thing so i just want to say thank you for that thing. real talk I wanted to say uh, something about uh, Maurice. Uh -huh. uh, he is the least relevant on the show, and allegedly he's about to lose his job, and that's all I wanted to say. Child, allegedly, child. Ooh, child. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm typing as well in the back chat to Simply Beautiful, but she said, hold on. Uh, look, you said allegedly, child. Let me go ahead and say this we gonna say allegedly but and that ain't alleged <laughs> uh yeah we shall see <laughs> we shall see and look that little clip of him saying that uh from the way i took it he was really shading dr Heather. Uh, 
Dr. Heavenly. That's when he had on his little silk robe, child. But uh, thank you, Real Talk. I can go into a whole different direction. I've been on one. Hey, sis. Um, Somebody, can y'all hear me? Hello. Hey, Prosperity Thick Girl. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, no, I was just trying to talk. So, I don't know what she's saying, but you can hear some of it. I was just trying to make some noise. It looked like she dropped down by mistake. Yeah, and, but she's talking on, you can hear her talking or something. I was just making oh, okay. sure we couldn't hear a conversation. Oh, okay. And Debbie, did you go see the ghost? No. Girl, I'm not fooling with them people in that crap. What ghost? You talking about that air around them house? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. I seen it when uh, that little boy told her about it, but I didn't go back and see it. I can't take her that long. She got some ghosts. She need to keep them over there with her. I don't want them around me. Baby, it made a uh -uh. noise. <clears throat> I'm spirits. I, I don't fool with that kind of stuff. I just don't. I don't like her that much anyway. She don't like her I don't like her, me. period. I can't she stand like that girl. And when she opens her mouth, I, it, it irritates me. Because we I can't slow. take her. We slow. She, she the only one I know that's slow. Yeah. Exactly. And she's slow and she's special. School <laughs> bus special. Put that him. Oh. She be licking the yeah. windows on Debbie. <laughs> she was licking the windows on the bus too. <laughs> Tires and all. <laughs> <laughs> so well. Not the wheels go around and around on her lips. That's what she was saying. <laughs> That mouth been wide for a long time, girl. <laughs> That's how she practiced. Yep. She was getting up practicing. She already said that when you're 9 or 10, 11 years old, that's when you start doing what? that kind of stuff. So, you know, hey, maybe that's what she was doing. I don't know. What did she say that? In at? my opinion. She was sitting in that car talking that stuff. What? Well, yep. well, I didn't do that, that at 10, 11 years old. I'm sorry. I don't know that. I don't know them people. I didn't either, but uh, that's what she said. She's uh -huh, why I said she don't need to be around kids. Don't put us in that. We don't know what you talk about. 
that's why I say she's special. So she's the only one doing that. And, you know, maybe that's the way her mama groomed her. Yeah, Allegedly, in my opinion. Can't she knows move. so much about it. Evidently, she was the one doing it. Jesus, not 11 and 10. What the hell? Well, she done got it. She done got it down perfect. She been doing it for ten years and ain't getting nothing out of it. Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ. She ain't doing it right no more because she done expired. Her man is out in. He wasn't no man, no way. He wasn't over her man. Mm -mm. Her baby daddy, my is looking for his younger victim now. She done aged that. I didn't know she was like uh milk. She had she expired. Her uh, Carlos mouth looked just alike. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pow, Carlos, did you feel that? <laughs> no, don't get me started, prosperity. I'm trying to not <laughs> 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 Hannah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm just trying to drown out this hey, conversation. How y'all doing? Hey, I'm, I'm listening. I don't know what to say, but uh, I, I heard y'all say that, that Martell that Martell is looking for a younger somebody. I think Martell is looking for somebody with some money. And then he gonna go look for somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he need you. <laughs> This is ridiculous. This right. man is mad at his ex because she got money and he don't like, boy, you did this to yourself. You well, I don't have, but first of all, how you going to be mad because somebody else got money you don't? She get up and work for her money, man. He get up and work. He have some change, too. <laughs> Him and Arion, that's the thing. Arion want her life, but she don't want to do the work that male, do the, the, that male puts in to get that life. Like, Girl, you cannot, you cannot keep wanting all these things, but you want to sit on your tail and ignore your child all day long. Now, that it don't work like that. God says faith without work is dead, and girl, that is why you are broke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really she think nice to see why I say she's school bus special. Mm -hmm. They both <laughs> Martell and Arian really thought Martell was the one that made Melody. He is greatly mistaken. That's why he mad because he came. He trying to make what's her name Arian. He wants her to do what Melody do. It ain't gonna happen. He thought she so, was gonna with the skincare. She told me, "Oh, I'm gonna do a skincare. I'm gonna do it vegan." Then she wanted to do the boutique. And he thought all that was gonna work. Going to work. He thought that you know he was gonna be able to get his son, his youngest son, out there to make him some money. He he just ain't he ain't got it together because. He and he just think again. He thought that he really was the one that was doing that, but it was all the time Melody, and he just can't come to grips with. Dog, I'm a failure. How I she really gonna do a skincare line when she she got his filters on her face all day, girl? We know that skin toe up under <laughs> that filter. What this was back in the day. This was this was before they got a divorce. She was on there talking about this. <laughs> she was talking about Martell had set her up with some person. Oh, Martell, he he introduced me to the person and everything. Tell me she was gonna get a vegan skincare. I can't. I, I know I ain't gonna be able to go find the video, but she, I remember her saying that crap. Mm -hmm. And remember now, see, that's when Melody was getting ready to do her Seventh Avenue. See, he was feeding her that mess. He was t modeling, uh, taking Melody's ideas, feeding it to her coleslaw. Once I heard that, I was like, that's exactly what that food was doing. So when Melody connected with the people that she was doing the skincare with he was taking her information so she was up but she didn't have the money or the, the sense to do anything neither did he but melody she she took hers all the way because he spelled all the words wrong she tried to get the ingredients but she couldn't find them mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> girl all that you need to do is go over there with Tisha, with Letitia oh. and uh how she did with Stormy. <laughs> Letitia spoiled it in my opinion that was all uh, canvas beauty, in my opinion. We allegedly. saw it was canvas beauty. It's all our opinions allegedly, because we saw the the the, uh, the show when she was putting up labels on top of canvas beauty labels. So and and she lied. She's flat out lied and said that she had been working on that for five years. Yeah, 
First she said she was a her and her mama said she was cooking it on her stove. And then when the lady asked her what the ingredients were, she said, read it for yourself. You got the chemist put which is it, the chemist or you? You or the chemist. I, I thought she I was called big liars. All them big liars. They ain't did nothing but stole somebody else's ideas. That's all they good for. And you see, they don't even execute them right because they don't never come out right. They don't finish nothing. Do y'all see that Kimmy and Maurice done bought another spat? Like, y'all just showed us a spat around Christmas time. That ain't did nothing. Y'all done but what? Kimmy, you are going to have the worst credit. You or Tisha, y'all going to have to live together if y'all ever get enough sense to leave these men. Because y'all credit going to be so shat. All y'all be able to do is get an apartment in somebody's kid name. Because this is ridiculous. Y'all keep letting these men get all these loans in y'all name because their credit ain't nowhere. Maurice told us himself his credit is what, a full something? But y'all keep on spending all this money and using all, getting all these loans to play with. Like, finish a project. And then they talking about Scott's supposed to be building that. Well, we know that ain't going to be come to fruition because nothing Scott's supposed to do has come to fruition since they've been on this show. Like I said, all them people says liars and schemers and scammers, allegedly, in my opinion. I don't trust nothing they say. We were yeah, talking they, about they didn't have but 10 people there. I was just about to say that, Undeb. I was about to say, as much as we talked about that expo, the content creators made fun of that expo, that expo should have been packed just because. And y'all couldn't even capitalize off of that. They picked the wrong weekend. They had too Bonner many Brothers. things going on in uh, Atlanta that weekend. Bonner Brothers show. Everybody's at that show. Yes, and that everybody there every year, on, on Debbie, every year they are sold every out. Year. Why would you try to do something with Bronner Brothers is in the same time? You, yeah, yeah, I wanted to feel. That's what I'm starting to believe. They want to feel. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. you're back. Yes. You're oh, back. I'm back, but not back. I'm back from my iPad. Um, I don't know. It's saying my Ethernet cord, something happened to it. So I'm I'm on my iPad, but I'm glad you guys kept talking. Y'all see, I put allegedly all through the chat. Thanks, sis. Um, I, I'm like, Lord, have mercy. They letting loose. <laughs> it was, I was trying to drown yeah. over you. It sounded like you was on the phone. I was trying to I was trying not to hear your conversation. I was. I was on the phone. Also, you guys heard me when I was on the phone with um with Pink Diva. Yeah, I don't know who you was on there, but I can hear something. I was like, I don't want nobody to hear your conversation. So I was like, let's start talking. That's oh, why we thank talking. you. Well, I put in the chat for you guys to continue talking. So I'm glad I'm back. This is kind of weird the way it looked, but it's cool. Um, Who did I miss, though? Can you guys say what you said while I was gone? We got a couple more minutes, and then, we, you know. I heard Hannah Grace talking. Uh, prosperity. <laughs> Who went first? You prosperity. Yeah, I think. No, me just Walt went. Okay, okay. Well, what I miss? Fill me in, child. <laughs> I'm talking about the broke people that don't got no money but try to pretend like they do. And uh, uh, Hannah told us something we did not know. I know I didn't. That uh, coleslaw was supposed to have a vegan skincare. The lady that uses filters on everything she do. Talk about using some vegan skincare. She was gonna make because Martel was gonna help her. What? <laughs> Where you get that from, Hannah Grace? Well, that was way back before Melody and Martel even got a divorce. She was, you know how she used to get on there running her mouth. Oh, Martel, he hooked me up with the person and everything. But I want mine to be vegan and parrot and free. The same thing Melody said. She said. Mm. But Martel had, to, and, and then when I'm thinking about it, in my opinion, he had took, he knew what Melody was doing. And he was just running his mouth with her, mm -hmm. trying to set her up. And you know what I'm saying? You know, the same old bull crap he been doing the whole time. But yeah, yeah, that was back, way back. I, if I ever find a video, I will. If she was talking, it was probably on one of those recordings, you know, when she was, mm -hmm. with Tasha, you know, with the other bloggers and stuff. So, but yeah. I remember that too, Hannah. Oh, you remember? Okay. Yes, yes I do. I remember that. Look, I'm not shocked. That girl has been um, thinking. Didn't nobody look at uh, Roxy. Roxy, you probably did, child. They on your girl. No, I'm just playing. Um, 
you know, thinking that she's on male's level, thinking, you know what I mean? And Martell is just the dumb, just as dumb to try to push it. But come on now. Come on now. But that's back when he thought that when she thought that Mel was the one that well, she, what did she say? Mel was, you know, she tried to make it look like Martell was a smart one. Oh, he's the brain. And mm -hmm. you know, all that foolishness. She got real tricks. She got tricked real good, real hard. But what I wanted to say though is um, yeah, Carlos King, I tell you what, with this, in my opinion, if he go and do these um podcasts with Carlos King. And he don't make as much money. He gonna go. He gonna uh, end up in the red. And then, uh, for in my opinion, what he's done to Mel, as far as using her, and now she she was the best thing since sliced bread. Now all of a sudden, you can't even get a you know him to congratulate her on any of any of you know anything that we see her doing now. So in my opinion, he is upset with her for some reason. Keep on getting upset with her, just like everybody else. When mm -hmm. she does something good, they don't want to congratulate her. They get jealous, and then then they get mad when people call them out. And the mm -hmm. last thing I want to say is about uh, the Scott. Now he wants to sue these people, okay? But when you when they were sitting around there running their mouth about Miss Van and putting out this false information, bringing their brother on that show to expose mm -hmm. it. It was all fun and games then. But then when somebody said something about them, then they got a problem. And I hope that the, the YouTube people, uh, YouTube co content creators that he sued, and if this thing is true, what he did, I hope he paid dearly for it. And Me too. Because see, they always want to call out other people but they don't want to take responsibility or take ability and Kimmy too because when Miss Wonder was saying all that foolishness about Melody and her children oh they stuck together like glue and did not say and wouldn't budge until Carlos put them on on the spot and say you guys didn't have the same energy when Miss Wonder was doing that to Melody's kid but but okay when Tiffany said that about your kid you had a fit no, it don't work like that. Keep on calling them out and keep on putting them on blast because you know they who do who do they think they are? All of this stuff. And then for them to sit up and continue to lie. And like Carlos said about about the uh black expo, he gonna get mad the heavenly that people going around trying to run other people be and talking about, oh, but karma gonna come back and get your AZZ. Man, karma. You have the last person you need to be talking about karma coming to get somebody is you because it's uh, somebody else. You need to worry about them karma coming to get you, Carlos King. But oh, karma gonna come back and get you just because people calling and not trying to get their job taken, putting them on blast, letting people know these people are trying to maybe it's something, some issues with what's going on with their their uh, event. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. people call them out now, everybody, everybody wrong when it comes to the Scots. No, keep on calling them out. And Maurice, if you did what they, what people think you did, come on and get yours because you deserve it. And you and Kimmy in mm -hmm. my, because they, they, they always on some bull crap, throwing their, their, these rocks and hiding their hand, Kimmy and Maurice, mm -hmm. in my opinion. That's it. Mm. The quiet ones. It's the quiet ones sometimes you got to watch out for. You know what I mean? Um, and and you're right, Hannah. Um, if if we're going to say alleged, what's being said is true, that's going to be something else. And I would love to see it play out because you know everybody will be talking about it. Something ain't right, though. And I think he did something. That's just my opinion. I don't know for sure. I do think that he's done something that he shouldn't have done because what? Uh, the 11th is Monday. No court date. Now, that's what I don't know. One of you guys let me know that's on the panel. Where did the, the date, the 11th, come from? You guys remember? The emails that they got. In the emails. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, something ain't right. But Something I'm right. Excellent points, uh, Hannah Grace. And yeah, they can she can go ahead and get on up out of here, uh, Arianne uh, and Martell. When it comes to uh, skin, you know, do you have original thoughts 
that's what we want to know something and somebody else put that uh she just want to be in the house and stay at home and i i agree with that i believe that in her head she feels like she's a kept woman or she feels like she's this uh housewife you know not married and she's done nothing nothing for the past 10 years it just does not what are you doing for yourself hmm. it just don't make sense at all at hmm. all uh, but prosperity if you have not spoken we're gonna go ahead and get to you and then we'll have to get to on debbie i want to make sure we don't have any more mishaps um and i saw in the back chat who you guys were talking about um well i don't see the answer is it from mm, the person is that the one you all are talking about because simply, so, the one simply beautiful seen... say... okay okay i put it I, I don't want to say it out loud because one of them i really really like hold on from mm, mm, mm. hold on i'm putting it in the back chat mm -mm. it gotta be and uh -uh. so uh -uh. yes slow as ever okay go ahead prosperity that's not the person that loves. <laughs> oh no. Uh-uh. Oh shoot. Well dang. Well. <laughs> so y'all gonna get me in trouble. I'm glad I put it in the back chat. That's who I thought you guys were talking about. Okay. Okay. So prosperity so, DM me later. Somebody let me know. I am. That's but, funny as hell. But I'm glad that Kimmy, that people are getting on Kimmy neck too, because allegedly, in my opinion, and everybody else that said this the first time, Kimmy was the one behind the brother coming out in the first daggone place. He said it in his interviews. Kimmy was behind all that stuff that he did uh, to Miss Van the first time. So I'm glad. So when he go down, Kimmy just get ready Wait, to hold go on. down. She, she allegedly was the one that got him on the show, right? Mm -hmm. Not told him to put that out, or allegedly nope. you're saying both. Yeah, both. Cause she was the one that put it out first. She put the told the thing out first. Remember, Miss Van said, "I'm not if I ever get in a room with her again, I'm gonna ask why did she do that." Oh yeah, when she was talking to Mel. Mm hmm. Oh so yeah. So Kimmy has been dirty. That. Yeah, her hands been dirty, and whatever she you because who paying for these things to be put out? These laws. Who gonna pay for these lawsuits? Kimmy. So if he doing it, she got something to do with it. And like she said, we do too much. Us content creators mm. and fans of the show, we do too much. So guess what? And ever since she said that, I've been making sure I do too much every time I say his name or her name. That's why she like watching paint dry and he like watching two coats of paint dry. Both of them. Mm. Mm. And Carlos, y'all know right. Carlos kept been Carlos been saying since this day going podcast since mel did this podcast he putting it out he putting it out i don't know if y'all heard the latest of what he said but now he can't put it out until the first episode of the seventh season airs because the the first half of the podcast is telling the first episode uh like boy you're only gonna put a snippet of this daggone podcast in there he act like he about to put the whole podcast in the daggone thing come on, mm -hmm. i reported on that last week but go ahead prosperity come on he don't want to get in trouble by the higher up you already in trouble that's the that's the problem that's why you mad about everything that's going on now now you can't hire or fire nobody sir when did that stop when did they have that meeting with you when did you get demoted allegedly in, in my opinion, because at first this was your show, my, my, my. Now you ain't got no control over your show. Yeah, and that's why other shows aren't being watched because you want to keep playing games, and we letting you know you playing the games. We see you playing the games. You told us who we are. We believe you. And now, since you don't want to, since you want to have a problem with Mel, have a problem with the people that's watching your show because they support her. How about that? Mm hmm. Oh, everybody got to suffer because of you, and you did it to yourself. Totally agree, prosperity. And yeah, that that was a game. You know, he went around striking folks. I, I'm I'm putting it on my channel next week. Next week, next week never came. But I saw um, what he had to say about that. Um, as far as he will get in trouble if he uh, releases it, and it's like getting trouble by who? You know what I mean? 
um, right. just lie after lie after lie to me. So now he feels chit chat. If he put it out the night of the re the, the night of the first show, people gonna tune into the show because they want to, so so it can roll over and they watch the uh, thing with Mel after that. But let it be known that if we don't want to watch the show, we shall know how to come back at nine o'clock to just watch the podcast with Mel Dodo mm -hmm. Bird. For sure. For sure. Um, yeah, you know, you can peep gang. You can peep gang. Um, and, and that we are doing, okay? <laughs> that we are doing. But thank you, Prosperity. We done ran over. I was supposed to be out of here at 2 o'clock because trending went live. So we're going to go ahead and get to Aunt Debbie. Um, and Aunt Debbie, it's been a whole lot, child. Uh, that ugly glass dog, the uh, uh, whoever piano teeth is, I don't know who that is. Uh, it's been a lot, on Debbie. What's your thoughts on this Saturday? Well, first of all, with Maurice, let's start with him. He done did something and done uh, got himself in trouble trying to sue content creators. I hope they turn around and kind of sue him, mm -hmm. and he t and they take all him and Kimmy money and that cheap land they got. Ooh, take God. it all. And uh, I hope he, in, and allegedly, in my opinion, if he did something wrong, I hope they take his certificate, he be disbarred, and he, he go head on. He he needs all of that. If he did something with the courts and did something wrong, and, and they was talking about what he did, and uh, he needs to pay for that, and he doesn't need to be a lawyer. First of all, he's a liar, and he's lazy, and he make up a lot of stuff. As far as uh, that letter, I believe one of them brothers wrote it. Might have been the bigger one, that old bigger that they have around. Oh, you know, big out. boy, big boy. Uh, yeah, bigums I call him. Uh -huh. I don't know his name, but he a great big old. Oh Lord, big old thing. He, Micah. Know, uh huh. He Micah. sweaty and slimy. You know, he's slimy and grimy. And uh, I just hope uh, it work out for the content creators. And I'm, I really hope that they really counter sue him, put him in his place. That'll stop him. And as far as Kimmy, she need to go somewhere and sit down. Her time has come, come and gone. They really need to be off to show all of them because they don't have nothing to offer. They have no storylines. They was trying to get a storyline out of suing content creators. And that just didn't go well. Allegedly, this is my opinion. They need to be kicked off. Carlos King with his wide mouth, he mm -hmm. needs to stop lying and get and all his shows is falling in ratings. None of them doing no good. He get up there every Sunday quoting them scriptures and steady be lying. And he just a user. And uh, he told uh, uh, what's his name, DJ Richard Scott. Uh, they was coming to the DMV area. He had some people, but he couldn't say who it was and all of that. And if it's Love and Marriage DC, I don't think nobody, I don't think that's going to sell out. I don't care if he put all them folks on there. I don't believe that show will sell out. I think he won and done. And Mel was the one and done. It's over with for him. And as far as his shows, I don't think nobody watching them like that because they all the same. Women going at each other and people tired of that. Just people tired can. of that. And yeah. you know, he. He done got enough for trying to use women. That's what he do. <clears throat> use women they, to make money off them. So I believe that's coming to an end. And he, he can go sit down to go sit down along with the rest of them, you know. And the only show he got going is really Love and Marriage Huntsville. And yeah. he about to tat out a pie. He over there in Bravo business. He needed to look at his own business, you know. That's telling, you know, all your shows going down the drain. But you over there bothering them folks in their business and then got that lady in trouble. So they took off you to Dr. Hellish. That, oh, her name heavily. Who shall? Who shall? Go ahead, Aunt Daddy. <laughs> Dr. Hellish Lee. <laughs> she getting what she got coming too. Because if I was Dr. G, I would sue her for slander, defamation. Absolutely. I, I would hit them pockets real hard and then keep close her mouth because she need to shut up anyway. And she don't know the same stuff she doing to her castmates. One day it will be done to her. They're going to kick her off one day too. They're getting about tired of her. 
she act like she running things over there yeah. in Bravo, but them people going to show her what she running. Number her shoes straight out the door when they give her that pink slip. Oops. How about that? Sick of all of them. All <laughs> of them need to go somewhere. <laughs> 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 and who else left? I did I forget any of them? And you know, uh I know um they said Wanda he gonna have ain't nobody gonna pay that he'll wanna get up there and can't talk. Folks don't know what she's talking about. People is not paying their hard earned money for that mess Carlos King got going on. They don't even want to see him less long her. Huh? So he he might as well, you know, like I say, he wanna done with that. You know, he talked mm -hmm. too much and he got all these shows ain't doing nothing, using people, and he want to use mail. When everything failed for him, then he going to run up on the mail. He went in and get her congratulations. Her show doing real good. She's yeah, doing great I things. Seen, I haven't seen it. You know, even though I don't, I try not to go to his page, but I know if he did congratulate her, it'll, it'll be all over YouTube. I have not seen it anywhere. He ain't congratulated because he's jealous. He's jealous. She's now his peer and she's, she's really doing well. She's gone far beyond him. He don't have nothing left. He going down and she going up. And he don't mm -hmm. like that. He's never going to congratulate. Just like them people, her castmates, co-workers, they neither one of them said congratulations either. See, mm -hmm. that's what all of them is jealous and envious and she gave them a star. You know, and look how they treating her. And look at him. He only come around her when he needs something. Then he her friend. And she calling him. She don't call you, sir. What's she calling you for? Well, she let it be known that she not not like that now. You know. Uh you she don't call him like that. All only right. one call him like that is Martel, cause Martel got his hand out allegedly begging. That's the only one calling him, you know, and and them Scots might call because they don't want their stuff on the show. We ain't going to show this. We ain't going to show that. And he done put that in their contract, so they never going to show nothing. It's going to be more of the same. And people getting tired of it. So, hey, Carlos King, he, he made his bid. He got the lining. All them shows going down the drain just like him. And mm -hmm. good riddance. Yep. And you know what? What's so uh, I don't want to say it's sad, but it just shows me something ain't right because he can focus on his own, and he don't. He can focus on his own shows, you know. And everybody else should feel some type of way, even though we can peep game and see. I know I did uh, from the very start, uh, as far as the uh, you know him having having Mel as the first guest. But the other cast should be saying, uh, cast members, well, what about us? You know, so when it comes to generating funds or ratings, he know who that comes from, which is male, and the rest of them, he going to keep them there. But, you know, I will feel some type of way. But, yeah, the tour does not consist of uh, what it should, which is people that are on his shows. He's so busy promoting Bravo, and that's the weirdest thing. Now, look, if he didn't have any shows, that's his business, you know, promoting whatever. But you you promoting your competition. Self-sabotage, if you ask me. That's because he wants to be over there with Bravo, and the people don't want him. You can tell yeah. that he wants to be working for them so bad, but they don't want him. That got, they got rid of him for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. You I think agree. If you want her, they'll use it one of these days, but they're not. And he's yeah. trying to keep up with Andy Cohen. He needs to go sit down. You know, I and just like somebody whoever said it, I hope Andy Cohen do invite Mel over there to watch what happens live. Mm -hmm. Now I'll look at that. I sure would. I'll look at it and be right there. And I hope he do do it down the line because she's doing a lot. I don't see why he hasn't invited her already. He invited everybody else. He should invite her. He should have yeah. been invited Mel. Yeah. And you know, we were discussing that. Hold on. I'm laughing at Roxy. Roxy, tell your hubby I said, hey. Talking about her husband laugh every time I laugh every time I say, woo child. Um, but you know, we talked about that Undebian members only the other night. 
And, you know, at first I was looking at it like um, that Mel wasn't Bravo related. But then remember, I was like, well, no, he has all type of entertainers on his show. Mm -hmm. uh, watch what happens live. Andy Cohen. And yeah, yes, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. And I wonder how Carlos would feel. He will pass know, out. So, yeah. I hope he do pass out and have a big one and let him fall all the way out. I'm trying to care true. about what Carlos thinks they could do. You know, when it comes down to Mel, Mel got her own mind. She got her own TV station, her own production company. She can go over there and talk with Andy. I believe Andy would like uh, Melody. I really do. I she would be a fresh, a, a fresh air for him. And that's yeah. going to cook that Carlos Goose. He needs to. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Carlos I, all over there messing with his people. So why can't uh, Andy interview uh, uh, Melody? Mm -hmm. I agree. And I was one of them. I know a lot of you all disagree, but I was one of them um, that would have loved to have seen Mel on Real Housewives of Atlanta just because it is a larger network, a larger platform. She didn't need it. You know, I'm talking about way back when, when they, they revealed that Carlos mm -hmm. asked them, well, do you guys want to be on this show? And Martel said no. Uh, but she's been able to, if you ask me, accomplish more than a lot of those women that are on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But yes. yeah, I agree. I think she should, uh, they should uh, request to have her on as a guest on Watch What Happens Live. I wonder if we all can start um, contacting Andy. You know what I mean? Tagging him or something. Yeah, they should let her promote Shanita's world. Or go, but let both of them come over there. She got a reality. She got a show and a star that she can bring with her. It could be a whole thing. Mm-hmm. I now would even like to see... Uh, I would even like to see uh, Melody go over there to the Real Housewives as a friend of Portia. Have a, uh, you know, where she comes, you know. I, I would love to see that. How about yep. that? They, they had Martell yep. over there clowning acting a the fool. They should have Melody. She she Absolutely. got more class and she going she gonna to set it off and get them some ratings. So I don't Absolutely. see why they don't do that. Her and Kenya Absolutely. can drag the heck out of Martell if she go <laughs> Baby, she can let loose. I ain't got to worry about them editing anything off. And I right. do know that, I don't know if her, her and Portia are friends or, you know, associates or whatever, but. Well, they are. They uh, got a I video together. Huh? They did a, a video together. Mel was over her house. Right. She sure That's was. what I was just about to say. So I would love that, especially now with what she's going through. You know, that could be the end, if it's true, with Portia and Simon. Um, as far as her sitting down, talking to her friend, somebody that went through divorce and publicly embarrassed and all of that, that would be great. That yes. would be great. Yeah. This is yes, a good Ramesha. time for it. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying, too, Ramisha. Bravo most definitely has a bigger check, for sure. For sure. Who is Whiskey Lips? I've been seeing this all through the chat. Y'all, <laughs> who is Whiskey Lips? If, in my opinion, I think it's uh, <laughs> who? Wanda's friend, the one be over there with her, huh? that content creator that that be used <laughs> to sit on that other panel, be drunk all the time. Look in the back oh. chat. Well, no, because Mrs. Ireland is saying production coined her whiskey lips in Houston. So this is somebody that was in Houston. Who, Tyra, or Mrs. Um, Mrs. Ireland? Oh, that's Kimmy. Oh, Kimmy. Lord, have mercy. Whiskey lips? <laughs> I wouldn't call it. I guess that's because she talks about everybody. Okay. I can't keep up with these nicknames, child. I, I really got to free up some time to watch a lot of other content creators' videos I, that really I, say the nicknames. Prosperity. Child, I be lost. Now, let me get too blessed for you. Too blessed for you going to come on in here late in the midnight hour. Um, <laughs> talking about Cat Williams' past, me a drink. Thank you, too blessed for you. 
let me put cat up on the screen and since we talking about whiskey child that's probably <laughs> what cat <laughs> that's probably what cat williams was drinking but tell him to bring me my money yeah! you need to let mail on club shay shay so she can talk about mark oh wow now that would be amazing because shannon sharp is blowing up did you guys hear speaking of that and then we got to get out of here guys shannon sharp came out this week because you know he went viral when he pulled up in front of total wine and stepped out that uh that uh suv and yeah, he went viral just from you know the man's had hip surgery knee surgery everything else but it was a trip looking at it well anyway he responded and he said that he made more from that Cat Williams interview than mm -hmm. anything that he's made in the NFL for a year. Mm -hmm. So that lets you know. He's made millions off of that Cat Williams interview. And he sure ain't do bad with Monique either. Jesus. Mm -mm. And I believe it. You know, because I think it's up to 50 million views. Cat Williams, I'm sure it's more now, but it's a lot of else that comes with that when you getting those amount of views so he had to make i don't know what his salary was in the nfl but he said than any year that he's been in the nfl and he was paid pretty good so that's something else um but listen guys as i mentioned my apologies again to trending if we wouldn't have had these uh, if i wouldn't have had that mishap we would have been out of here. I have my eye on the clock, but I appreciate each and every one of you that joined me. Shout out to the panel. My love and marriage Huntsville historian, simply beautiful, <laughs> the legend, Aunt Debbie, prosperity, thick girl, Hannah Grace. Hannah, you've been dropping some stuff. I didn't see your last video, but I saw the thumbnail. That's on my board right here on the wall um, to watch. Thank you, Hannah Grace. And Real Talk with Grace and Mercy. Um, thank you guys so very much. Uh, Mrs. Ireland, thank you. Thank you for the super sticker. Now, when I just played my, let me try it again. I didn't hear any sound. And that's why I want to make sure we end this properly because it's tripping. But uh, Mrs. Ireland, thank you so much. I think I said Ireland. Ramisha, thank you so much. To anybody that uh, gave me a super chat today, I appreciate each and every one of you. This gonna go to that internet light bill that I was telling the chick with the ugly glass dog that had so much to say. Um, this gonna go to that. Okay, so she can take her little ugly glass dog and go on about her business. That's, that's woo woo. Take your ugly glass on. I mean the dog. The who else? Go on oh, on cool. Hold on, guys. Let me see if this play. Hold on a second. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! All right. It played on my end. Um, on the iPad, it said hit sound or whatever. But thank you guys so much. What a wonderful live. Shout out again to the cutie crew. We will be going live. Um I think our, our new day will be Thursday, but we're going to do some pop-ins uh, throughout the week. You guys also be looking out from now on. Any video that I drop will be members only first. Patreon, I'm coming once I figure it out. Um, for those of you where it's raining, I hope the weather clears up. I <sighs> hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Shout out to my cutie mods in the building. Thank you guys for all that you do. And Stephanie Johnson, you late, but you here now and we out of here. But thank you. Go back to the beginning. I kind of let loose, um, but I just want people to understand that people with YouTube channels, content creators, put out whatever content they want to put out. You ain't running nothing, okay? Uh, like Aunt Debbie just said. Aunt Debbie, you said Kimmy and Maurice wasn't running nothing, but what? You remember what you running. just <laughs> They're going to be running their shoes out the door. That's Dr. Heaven That's when Brown get through with her. <laughs> the legend has spoken, Aunt Debbie. 
running them shoes right on out the door. But thank you guys again. I am out of here. As I mentioned earlier, uh, what time is it my time? It's only 2.40. I'm going to try to come live. It's going to be a late night, Saturday night, uh, night live. It don't matter who joined me. As long as it's a couple of us, we good. But I got a little more info with the Drea Michelle, and I want you guys' thoughts on it. Drea not only got with a young book, uh, that's all I'm going to say, because I don't want nobody to say it. Uh, she got not only it is how she got with the young book. That is the problem. And for me, uh, look, it's no different than how I feel about older men. I think it's creepy. I really do. So she get the same smoke from me that, you know, they do. She really does. And we sick of the double standards and all of that. And look, she has secured the bag until she's 60. But it's creepy. Her son is, if not the same age, a year older but once you guys find out how she got them, mm. all I'm going to say, there. oh, I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. Join me tonight, late night mm -hmm. Saturday, night live. Make sure you mm -hmm. come back with your cocktails or whatever you prefer, orange juice, cranberry juice, vodka, it don't matter, tequila. We will be live a little later, and I hope you guys join me. Thank you again, panel. Always. Thank you. Good Always. Night. Always. Thank you. All right, I'll chat with you guys later. And thank you again to those of you that were in the chat, still in the chat. Thank you guys so much. If you did not hit the like button, please go ahead and hit that like button on your way out. Everything discussed in this live by myself or the panel members were our own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only and everything is alleged and maurice your arse may just be in some trouble sir you may find yourself on the other side of that their courtroom if or what they saying is true but shout out to you guys shout out to the replay gang gang shout out to the cutie crew shout out to the cutie mods and I will chat with you guys soon. Bye. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat. Chit chat. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT.